Hi there, I'm Jane Sibbett, and I'm going to tell you about this unusual phenomenon called dancing hands. I feel so shy about talking about this because if it were Jane Sibbett looking at this person talking about dancing hands, I would say, <laughs> where did this person come from? She's insane. Come on. But here's the story, and it's really important for you to hear this. I get it. It's crazy out of the box, but it's happening to me, and, and people are getting help. So that's why we're talking about it. So what happened is... I have been touring with, doing documentaries with First Brazzo back in 2009, filming documentaries, taking him on live event tours. I morphed into working with Mas Sajati in 2014. I toured a little bit with Shavasti and then worked with a man named Abdi Electricite. From the moment I started working with Brazzo, I saw miracles every single day I was shooting, things that I never, ever, ever would have believed in a million years happening right in front of me. And I shot it, and I saw them in the audiences, and I talked to thousands of people, really, um, all over the world about the miraculous that happened to them when they were working with Brazzo. Same thing happened when I worked with Moss. I saw that his gift was able to help people feel better and heal from things that Again, unimaginable and from my very conservative background. Moved on, I met Abdi Electricite uh, in spring um, and met him in person in May of 2015. And from the moment he touched me, touched my third eye or my first eye, some people like to say, I went into such intense bliss that I was sure that if everyone in the world could feel this, there would never, ever be war again inside or out. It was amazing. I couldn't even put words to it for many, many days. The second time he touched me, about an hour and a half after that first touch, my hands started dancing and just like this, just I was lying down. I was in this deep, deep meditative state and my hands started dancing and it felt perfectly natural. I really didn't think about it. It was just they were dancing and it felt beautiful. Afterwards, people came up to me and said, your hands were so beautiful. I saw a light coming off of them. And eventually I was like, wow, it's interesting. They saw, they saw mudras, that I was doing mudras. And they asked me if I could put my hands toward them. And they said they could feel something that was really powerful. I didn't know what that meant. And I, I felt shy about it. And we were there for Abdi. Um, but I know what Abdi also does is he activates us to wake up those latent talents that maybe we don't even know we have. So. I trusted it, I just didn't know what it was. The, the hands kept dancing subsequently and in September of 2015, I was in a terrible accident. I was a hit and run from behind, knocked my car 60 feet away, um, completely totaled their car, they went running, and I was left completely fine. Um, car barely scratched, this is a longer story but um, that you can read about here on this site. But I will say that um, in, in a nutshell, as I was driving home, my hands started dancing. And my friend that was driving behind me could see my hands dancing for about 45 minutes. They were dancing, dancing, dancing on this part of my neck because everyone had said I was gonna be in, you know, in terrible pain with whiplash. My hands started dancing, got back, and I just went pop. And my neck was fine and never hurt again. So then I realized that source had given me this gift that it can actually help me too because I did ask if I was going to be given a gift if my hands could be of service that I would hope that it could help my family as well as myself I think that we're in this world right now to be able to help ourselves not rely upon our doctors all the time not rely upon our pharmaceutical com companies all the time to actually be able to help ourselves and so it seemed as if that was happening so soon after that I began experimenting with more people and people started getting help a lot of stories have been coming in and I feel so humble in sharing them so it's better for the other people to tell them. I have testimonials written here. I have some video testimonials that I'll be adding to the site. If you'd like to figure out how you can meet with me for this, to experience this, I'm having group events. I'm doing one-on-ones, private sessions in person as well as on Skype and by the phone for people who don't want to be seen, who uh, don't have technology. So there's a lot of ways that you can experience this. It's like this, and it's very simple. It doesn't hurt. People that are in pain often will t talk about how they're out of pain within five minutes. It's, I know, it's wild.
wild, it's wild, it seems crazy to me too, but it's happening, so read the testimonials. Um, some people have become friends through this, some people are complete strangers, so watch, listen, see, and I look forward to connecting with you another time. Thank you for being here.